Alcatel Submarine Network. It's a merge between a company from the UK and a French company that have created at the end the Alcatel Submarine Network. And of course, our main business that is the telecom submarine cables. We manufacture the cable in Calais, the repeaters that are the amplifiers that we use to amplify the system in Greenwich, and the cable and repeaters are assembled in Calais so that to be loaded on our cable ships. We take raw material and at the end you get a full cable. We have a whole process, we have a factories, we have a people doing that, but we don't stop there. We have also vessels with people able to take the cable and to put it in the ocean, and then we can maintain the cable. So this is why we are extremely proud that, as we say, we do everything from A to Z. When you think two seconds that 99% of the internet traffic is going through submarine cables. So you understand why people are believing that this is a critical industry. We are able to uh, give access to any country who have a bit of sea, of course, to whatever you can do from home in terms of internet, tools, information, communication, learning. We have projects that uh, I would say are the highways of the internet, so mainly uh, Atlantic Ocean and Pacific Ocean, but uh, there is huge project to develop uh, Africa and Middle East. But also what we have been extremely proud is small islands with 300 people that suddenly got the same connectivity that you have at your own home. We manufacture the cable uh, following different manufacturing steps. Uh, the first one is we color the fibers so that to be able to recognize the different fibers inside the cable. Then we protect the fiber inside the metallic tube. Then we implement a vault, so mechanical uh, vault around the tube. And we also introduce a conductor, so electrical conductor, that can be uh, made by, with copper or with aluminum. Then we insulate the cable with polyethylene. And then depending on the areas where the cable has to be laid, we also have the ability to implement different cable protections, uh, including armored cable, single or double armored cable. The capacity uh, transmitted per fiber in a submarine cable has uh, drastically uh, increased since several years. And with it, the, the, the power requested to amplify the signal periodically along the link. To improve the energy efficiency of the submarine cable, Alcatel Submarine Network has introduced a new concept which permits to double the transmission capacity of a submarine cable without increasing the cable powering. This new concept is called Spatial Division Multiplexing because it is based on the principle that to transmit a given quantity of information, the more you distribute this information over a large number of fibers, the more you reduce the power consumption. You can see this is a, a sample of the submarine cable we deploy. And ISN has uh, introduced a new innovation, which consists in using aluminum instead of copper as the electrical conductor of the cable. This contributes to reduce the uh, environmental damage caused by copper extraction all around the world. a very huge project that has started in uh, 2020 that was called NEO. The aim of this project was to increase the capacity of production of the site. And as part of this project, we had the opportunity to implement different systems that reduce our environmental impact. One example uh, it was the implementation of solar panels uh, on our new building. The second axis was uh, the filtration of, of uh, rejections uh, to reach a zero volatile organic component. For example, on the armoring line, we uh, implement a very uh, huge uh, filter uh, system that is 7 meters high, 
The third axis uh, on which we, we worked as part of NEU was the recovery of calories of or process hot water uh, to use these calories to eat the water that we use for the heating of the new building. The cable, um, it's done for 25 years. And the good thing is that one of them, uh, we got it outside of the water and we have seen no deterioration, meaning that after 25 years, we don't pollute the ocean. Second, we have worked with a company in South Africa to be able to recycle the old cables. So I think this is the right thing to do, even if today there is no law pushing the operator to get the old cable outside of the ocean. Maybe it will come, but at least we are ready. The renewal of the, of the fleet, that's a very important topic uh, because the quality of our equipment, that's this cable, this cable has very low consumption and does not degrade the environment where it is deployed. So many countries, okay, where we have to put uh, our cables. So some of them, I would say, are developed countries, some of them are less developed. So I think solar panel is the right solution because you don't know exactly what you will get, okay, in those countries. So I think it was a very good achievement from the team. But what I do believe, okay, as a next product is what we call SMART. SMART is an acronym standing for Scientific Monitoring and Reliable Telecom. This consists in implementing scientific sensors into uh, telecommunication submarine cable. Temperature, pressure, salinity, earthquake, tsunami, and so on. So yes, we are working on a new programs where you will be able on the same cable to have a normal telecommunication. Plus I would say the sensor path where you can have two customers, telecom and scientist community. And for the first time, we are surprised to discover that nobody knows what is the temperature in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean at 8,000 meters, not on the surface, down. And the same on the other side, on the Pacific. When you get the cable and you get this, you can get a measure like maybe every minute, and you are able suddenly to build some statistics for the next 25 years and trying to understand how things are moving. Today, we have no idea. We are also working through a small box, the DAS, because you can connect that at the end of a cable, and then we can start to see, okay, what is happening roughly on 880 kilometers. And we are working with a lot of uh, universities to get, I would say, some new algorithm. And for example, we just discovered by working with a, a university in Norway that we can find a filter to monitor the whales. So everybody thought, oh, it's a nice thing, okay, but what do we do with that? And we have discovered that there are some rules in the oil and gas industry that you cannot have activity when there are whales. So of course now they are very interesting, but we can do that, okay? So we see that sometimes you discover things, you don't know what to do with it, you talk to your customer and they say, this is really important because we, we need that and nobody is able to do that. So there is a lot of things like that that we're trying to push and promote in this company. It's another uh, thing that came uh, from the pandemic, okay? So we had to solve issue with customer because you have to know that before we load the cable on the vessel, we need to do an acceptance with the customer. But nobody was allowed to travel. So in fact, we have created remote acceptance so the team locally with cameras and things like that, taking all the different steps, customer are able to see, to validate, and then we are able to continue the business without being allowed to travel. We are one of the three okay, providers. Uh, clearly, there will be more and more need for communication because uh, honestly, for us, the fuel is what is the growth of internet traffic. Nobody told me that it will decrease, okay? So for sure it will continue. 5G is coming everywhere. So this is something that we have to continue to evolve our technology to manage those needs. But on top of that, now I think we are more thinking how do we do it the right way. The teams are quite proud of the improvement actions that are conducted here in Calais, uh, so that to help uh, the world to be. <laughs>
<laughs> more efficient in terms of uh, environmental impact. To be able to achieve this kind of actions as part of our new projects is for us a great chance and also great success. So we are trying to do our business, but on top of that, if we can help the planet and the scientist community to know much better the oceans, I think this is something that now is becoming part of the DNA of ISF.